Okay. All right, this is the um, November 27th meeting of the Conway Board of Selectmen. Uh, we're being recorded by Frontier Community Access Television so that members of the community as well as the public can watch the meeting uh, at a future date. Is there anybody else recording the meeting? No. Okay. All right, first item on the agenda, minutes uh, for the November 13th meeting. Has everybody reviewed the minutes? Mm -hmm. uh, any additions or amendments? Anybody? Look good. Yeah, yep. okay. Yep. I'll make a motion that we approve the minutes for um, Monday, November 13th. I have a second. Second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Next item. Next item on the agenda is warrants. We have a vendor warrant for $156,536, a payroll warrant of $109,057, payroll deduction warrant of $27,842, and a payroll deduction correction warrant for $34. I'll make a motion that we uh, accept those warrants. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Next item is meetings attended by select board members. Bob? So I usually go first. Go so, so I had three meetings I went to. Um, one of them was we had an FCAT board meeting. So F FCAT is doing great. Um, they're switching over to their new server. Uh, but there's really, you know, uh, we, we have various ideas of new FCAT programs we might want to do. Um, featuring restaurants in Deerfield or other other community things. I'm not sure. Interviews with select board members. Hey, they Chris would love to interview anybody that wants to come down. Uh, and interviews related to current events are always his specialty. Um, at the moment, you know they've been doing a lot of work on Deerfield football and uh, Frontier football, which 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 has been tremendous. And then this last weekend, they were very busy with Thanksgiving Day games. And so, mm -hmm. so they have lots to cover. I don't know how they cover everything that you guys cover. I, I don't know how it all possibly can happen. Um, I don't know if anyone has watched it, but a while ago, Mike Haley put on a really wonderful show. Uh, Bob and Helen, uh, I would say, sponsored it um, uh, with, with, with wonderful food of reading, what Mike termed as adult stories, but it really means they weren't kids' stories. Uh, and it was a fundraiser for the Fireman's Auxiliary, and... Uh, and FCAT, I taped it for FCAT. Mike took my tape, which somehow miraculously, even though it was completely in the dark, Mike managed to get the tape so it's visible. It's up on the FCAT website, and it's up on our Town of Conway website if anybody wants to look at. Um, you know, you'll recognize virtually everyone in the audience and listen to some really tremendous stories put on by Mike Haley, and they might be motivated to send in a contribution. So, so that's FCAT. Um, uh, last Friday, I went to a Franklin County Chamber of Commerce a breakfast meeting, which I have to say was my first Franklin County Chamber of Commerce breakfast meeting and met a lot of new new folks there, mostly business people around the county, a lot from Greenfield. Um, and I went because it was about marijuana and a lady who's on the Marijuana Commission was the speaker there. Um, and, uh, and, the, and the meeting was good, and for many people it was their first re real uh, 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 contact with, with the fact that marijuana is gonna very much be part of our world, and we've been, going, we've been hearing about it a lot. Um, but it was good to sort of hear it from the perspective of one of the people who's trying to write the regulations. So, so that was interesting. And then, um, I think it was last Friday night, I can't remember exactly, but I went to uh, the Franklin County CDC had a ribbon cutting ceremony for their new cold storage facility. They've opened up a gigantic freezer. And, uh, and I went because I just think the CDC is a tremendous place. They're a model. This is the only freezer of its type. 
by a CDC in America, and people are coming from overseas to come and talk to them about how they got funding for this and what its history is, um, what kind, of, how they possibly were able to get support from the state to do it, and uh, and then how they plan on using it. And it's just a tremendous resource. Farmers here in Franklin County are going to be able to bring uh, their their mostly vegetables uh, to to the food processing facility they have at the CDC where the green beans will be chopped and prepared or, or strawberries will be chopped and prepared and then bagged in special Franklin County bags, CDC bags, and frozen and made available at a low price to sell to local schools. So the kids here in Franklin County are going to be eating mostly vegetables. vegetables that were grown right here in Franklin County and and, and stored in the freezer. And, and all the local farmers I mean, there there were a lot of farmers there, uh, as well as uh, Jay Healy, the old agri the previous agriculture commission, who was very instrumental in setting up some of the early um, er early food processing center, and uh, and as well as Stan Rosenberg gave his usual humorous approach to uh, to to the, the history of the place. Um, it, it was, uh, but it was it was a wonderful event, as as well as they had the, you could sample a lot of the both alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages that are produced at the CDC um, by the businesses, their incubator businesses, and there's a lot of incubator businesses. And you could ride a bike and mix up a smoothie and then try all kinds of wonderful things. So anyway, it was a fun night. Um, Great. It, yeah, and, and to me, doing these kinds of things are what make being a selectman fun. Or at least here, I, I, I don't think I ever would have heard about this event in the CDC if I weren't on the board. So, so you know, there are things we go to that are like watching paint dry, but but events like this are, are great. great. Yeah. So, Bob? Hey, uh, just a couple of comments about Mike Hilly's show we put on at the firehouse. Yes, the uh, Women's Dog Missouri did get a small uh, amount of money out of that for their scholarship fund, the students of Conway. But the majority of the money went to Mike Haley's nephew's scholarship account for engineering students at GCC. Okay. Because Mike's hmm. uh, nephew died a couple years ago in a tragic accident, and he opened his scholarship up. So people from uh, GCC were there the night of the show, and they, they got a sizable amount of money for their scholarships, and I thought that was very That's nice. Great. Good, good, okay. Um, I also attended the FCAT uh, board meeting on um, the 16th, along with Bob. Um, I did want to get to the chamber breakfast, but I had a last minute uh, conflict, so I couldn't make it, because I did want to hear, um, is it Jen, was it Jen? Uh, the, I forget her name. The, um, it could be. The member from the uh, Cannabis Control Commission, we had heard her at a, right. um, uh, a selectman's yeah. meeting, and I did want to see if there were any updates. But um, at the last minute, I couldn't attend that. But uh, I'm glad I'm glad you got there. Okay, um, and that's all. That's all for me in the last the last couple of weeks, uh, relative to what we do. Um, citizens concerns I don't see any citizens so I guess we don't have any concerns okay under old business we have a vote on the support of the shade tree law revision uh, we had Walter Goodrich in last time and we tabled a vote on that uh, to get some more information and uh, Tom has provided us with substantial information on uh, this new um, shade tree law revision. Uh, we got a recommendation to vote in support of it from Walter Goodrich. Um, any any questions on the information that's been provided? Well, I, I reviewed it all it, and yesterday, and uh, I did happen to notice that most of it doesn't really pertain to Congress because it's under 10,000 population. The only thing they did recommend to us is, it, well, the recommendation to everybody was, if you were having a hard time fighting the three awards for your smaller committees, maybe you could develop with some other towns mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, yeah. find somebody qualified. And the only other statement they made is when you are in the process of hiring a person to be your uh, uh, tree warden to try to have them have some qualifications. 
which I think the gentleman that we have does have those anyway. So uh, I think we're all set with that. Mm -hmm. Right. Pretty well. I agree. Okay. So I'll, I'll make a uh, make a motion that we support the new uh, shade tree law revision. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Uh, okay. Under new business, we have the appointment of Henry Horstman to the Council on Aging. Uh, and that comes to us um, recommended by the Council. Yes, absolutely. Right. They, uh, they're eager to get them on board. Okay. Do we have a... There should be a form. Here it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, Bob, you, you know... Um, yes, Henry, Henry very, personally. very nice person. Okay. Do you have he was any? on the fire department for years, and he's just, he's just a great guy. Okay. All right. Any other comments? I hope he'll come in and shake our hand. But, you know, I, I don't know him, but... Uh, he, he was he actually was. here about 5.30, but he has a regular meeting in Greenfield on Monday nights and was therefore unable to attend, uh, but did, uh, again, mm -hmm. express his interest in, Great. in being on uh, the council. He, I mean, he, you know, he, he comes well recommended. That's, that's fine with me. But. Okay. Yeah, based on the on the recommendation of the Council on Aging, and uh, certainly with with Bob's knowledge of, of Henry throughout the years, um, I'll recommend uh, I'll make a motion that we appoint Henry Horseman to serve as a member of the Council on Aging for a term ending June thirtieth, two thousand eighteen. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Okay, next item is a uh, request from the Frontier Superintendent to appoint a representative for the school committee's subcommittee on repairs. Do we have do we have a representative from the board on the school committee now that goes to school committee meetings? No, we no. don't. Okay. Sure. No, and, and it's, this be on that committee? It, it's not. Um, it's not necessary to make the appointment tonight. Okay. Um, but I thought uh, we should at least open up the discussion because it was, mm -hmm. of course, they, this is directly springing from the presentation on their uh, capital needs and uh, that they had uh, at the regional school a few weeks ago. Would they prefer a selectman member or not? You know. I think they would be happy to have one. They're 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 looking for response by December the eighth. I would do, which is, is before the next w meeting. W I'm yeah. sorry. So yeah. it, it would be it, good if, if Bob is yeah. willing to do it. Uh, Bob, I've been I, in the building industry trade right. for my whole life, so right. That would be I, great. I, I, that's I think, right. I think that's an outstanding idea. I'll make a motion that. Um, we appoint Bob as our representative for the school committee's subcommittee on repairs. Do I have a second? Uh, second. All in favor? Yes, you can't second. Aye. Aye. Okay. You, you can always vote on, on yourself for yourself. You can sign your own stipend paper. <laughs> we didn't. No. No, <laughs> no, no, you, can't. no you can't. No, you can't. Yeah, okay. This is a lab. Um, we will make up a. Uh, an appointment sheet for that and run that through the process. Yeah. I don't know if you went to the meeting, John, but Bob and I went to the meeting. Were, were you there when when, the, when this no, he when wasn't. they talked? I, I think you missed that one. But but I mean, I, I thought you walked out with a lot of great ideas. And um, there was a lot of good ideas there. Yeah. A lot of people presented a lot of good yeah. ideas. Right, and and I think having somebody from the select board is a good idea. Yes, uh, uh, yeah. is something we should do. And a lot Always of it's good if you have the time. Yeah. But most of the people who spoke were select members. There's some finance, but a lot of yes. select board people from the, from the four towns. Yeah. They might not like what we have to say, but we'll <laughs> that's, that's what they're looking for. That's, you know. Okay. Yeah. Good. Okay, next item is to sign stipend forms. All right, there were um, stipend forms for the select board members as well as our emergency management director. 
if you make the motion for all of them at the same time, that should be yeah, every, everyone. That's, can yeah, do. that's what I intend to do. I'll, I, I make a motion that we sign those stipend forms. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Um, okay, yeah, that's an item not anticipated within 48 hours. Um, the next uh, the next item, um, I had done some research over the weekend considering some of the things that had happened at the uh, at the town meeting on October 30th and information that came to us uh, after that. Uh, and I'd like to make a motion. Um, you have a copy of it. I'll read it aloud so that everybody um, who's at home can uh, can listen to it. Okay, it's a long motion, so I'll I'll go slowly. Um, motion to place the article entitled "A Bylaw Declaring Conway to Be a Safe Community," introduced by citizens' petition from the special town meeting held on October uh, 30, 2017, on the warrant for the annual town meeting scheduled for May 14, 2018, by the Board of Selectmen without need for a petition by citizens. Whereas Massachusetts General Law, Chapter 39, Section 15, moderators powers and duties concerning town meetings states that the moderator shall preside and regulate the proceedings, decide all questions of order, and make public declaration of all votes. Whereas moderator Nick J. Filler uh, clearly explained the rules of the proceedings at the beginning of the special town meeting on October 30th, uh, 2017, as he has at the beginning of each past town meeting concerning a motion to table and regulated the special town meeting in accordance with those rules. Whereas there are different interpretations and understandings of the motion to lay on table or motion to table, and there may be differences among the rules of the proceedings stated by moderator Nicholas J. Filler, the presiding officer of town meetings and the ultimate authority to regulate those proceedings and other sets of rules followed by Massachusetts town meetings, including town meeting time, a handbook of parliamentary law prepared by a committee of the Massachusetts Moderators Association and Roberts Rules of Order published by the Roberts Rules Association. Whereas citizens who supported the subject article stated that they had a different understanding of the motion to table and were not aware that a motion to take from table could have been made, although that option was clearly stated by the moderator in his statement of the rules of proceedings. Whereas debate on the subject article was suspended due to the procedural misinterpretation of the motion to table by citizens who supported the subject article and the misunderstanding that a motion to take from table could have been made. Whereas the Board of Selectmen has fully reviewed the proceedings of the special town meeting of October 30th, 2017, information provided at the meeting of the Board of Selectmen on November 13, 2017, and statements presented by residents Linda E. Driscoll and Phyllis K. Jeswald. Whereas the petition by citizens of the subject article for the special town meeting on October 30, 2017 was signed by more than the required 100 registered voters as verified by town clerk Virginia A. Knowlton to place an article on the warrant for a special town meeting and the requirement to place an article on the warrant of an annual town meeting is 10 registered voters. Therefore, be it, be it resolved that if requested in writing to the Board of Selectmen by any one of the signatories of the petition by citizens of the subject article for the special town meeting on October 30th, 2017, that the subject article be placed on the warrant for the annual town meeting scheduled for May 14, 2018, 
the Board of Selectmen, without any endorsement or recommendation of the subject article itself, will place the subject article verbatim on the warrant of the annual town meeting scheduled for May 14, 2008, without a need for a petition by citizens. Discussion? Uh, this is something that did come up in the meeting, um, you know, and I think, you know, with, you know, two weeks of thinking about it, you know, I, I think this is a great motion. Uh, I, I would support it. You know, I, well, I only uh, quite, okay. but that's all. So, My only question is this about, uh, let me see if I can reiterate on this. Uh, sorry, Tom, meeting. will this open up? Uh, by having uh, this petition signed by two, well, did you say one or two of the pe previous people that were there before will that come now on? If we vote this, will this mean that anybody in the future in the town of county, if they go to a special town meeting for vote and it doesn't pass, that they can immediately write the selectman a letter and it's automatically going to be put back on the annual town meeting. No, this this applies just to this to this um, because article it, because there seem to be some procedural well, I, I, I understand that misinterpretations right, of what I what just wondered happened. about this portion that says that about the, the other way if that's not going to open the, like, open up a future. No, this is strictly should, for strictly for this, for this motion. No. Strictly for this. And I assume that the defense of that, the protection of that are all the whereases. I mean, you know, all the whereases are saying, here are all the conditions that led to, you know, the yeah. resolve. So, uh, yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, in, in, instead of making them go out and go through the process oh, yeah. of, of a petition because they already had 100 signatures, mm -hmm. making them go out and get 10 is, is kind of, you know, I, I don't see the need. You know, I, it's just making them go through something that I don't think we have to mm -hmm. make them go through. So it's 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 a procedural issue here. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's that's what this motion is about. Do I have a second? I'll make a motion to approve it. Okay. Second. I'll second it. Okay. All, All in favor? favor? Yeah. Aye. You okay. Present it. That's good. Uh, you 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 have a copy of this, uh, Lisa, yes. right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there were a couple little typos as John read it correctly, yeah, yeah, slightly I different. So I, I assume that Lisa would correct those mm. in, in what she has. Yeah. Okay. So. okay, we have our town administrator's update. <laughs> yes, we do. And your town administrator has only one copy of this update. So, excuse me. <laughs> Do you want me to just print this out or will that be my email, Tom? I got it here. Oh. Ah, thank you. Sorry, I didn't. Mr. Warren, not off the press. Didn't divide this up into uh, committees and departments. Um, well, from the top, uh, I thank you for your um, uh, appointing people to a commission on disability, but I looked into it further and found that um, to be properly constituted, it requires town meeting acceptance of Chapter 40, Section 8J of the General Laws. That section, in turn, requires five members, among other requirements. I have made a note to include it for consideration on the annual town meeting warrant. Uh, that said, um, my mind was set at ease because it turns out that uh, despite some what I thought was ambiguous uh, wording on the grant application, it was actually not required to submit the grant. So, okay. Okay. Um, so that's still so, going forward. Um, I see no reason not to not to go forward with it. And this will be on the annual meeting, Tommy. Yes. Uh, 
I've started work on the preliminary fiscal year 2019 budget, including sending budget worksheets and capital request forms to all department heads and committees. Uh, for your information, next year is the year I should get retrained in three areas of procurement, uh, which is every five years, the retraining. So that's an added professional development cost to my own budget, about $1,900. I'm also proposing $200 for Lisa to get training uh, beyond the Maya trainings, which are free, except for mileage. Mm. Uh, speaking of budgets, the first presentation of the Conway Grammar School Committee budget will be Thursday, January 18th, 2018. Mm -mm. Uh, I will note that this is the evening before the Massachusetts Municipal Association annual meeting in Boston. So some of you may not be able to make it. I know Ellen Singer is intending to attend and has urged other members of the Finance Committee to do so as well. Uh, the Treasurer and I are... So um, does the breakfast start that next Friday? Is that what happened? Is it, it, the is conference it, starts Friday morning. Friday morning. Yeah. So the question is, there, well, for there, people who go in Thursday night to stay over... Right. Yeah, yeah, I, it would be, and and some people have duties Thursday night uh -huh. uh, as well. People on the board, such as our chair. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, well, I'll try to attend the school committee. Me too. Uh, you know, I mean, I uh, I'm going, going, to, MMA going to the MMA meeting, but I would go in in the morning. Or, so uh, I like probably it doesn't matter. Yeah. So it's going to be at the grammar school. Yes. You get a time for us. I'm sorry? You'll get a time for us? What time to meet? I believe it's 6. Um, I'll certainly be checking yeah, in before. Yeah, you right, please. Uh, the treasurer and I are continuing to discuss health insurance with Maya. There is significant uncertainty as Maya includes a portion, 20%, of an individual's town's claim history in its premium calculation whereas Hampshire's rates are based on the pool as a whole. That says Maya does have the $75,000 maximum it would apply for any claim, which is their method of spreading out the cost. I am keeping both the school unions and the retirees informed and am aiming for an informal meeting of all staff around January to get some initial feedback before the formal process begins. So, so Maya has a maximum of seventy-five thousand on any claim. Yes. Whoa. That's that's. Uh, not this is health insurance claim. No, no, that's that's the maximum the town has to pay. That's the maximum the town. Okay. Not not on the claim itself. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Um. Is that? And the twenty percent that could hurt us or help us. We don't, and we don't know that. But right, right, yeah. Uh, and and so Jan and I have a list of some towns that we're going to ask some questions of. Um. Uh, yeah. Some of the frontier towns may be writing in some frontier projects as part of their green communities plan. Given that our own program is not proceeding smoothly, it would be premature at best for Conway to think about that approach at this point. We're still trying to resolve a dispute over the installation of insulation and finish the project. Uh, in the future, it might be possible, but uh, right now we have to make sure that we're Somebody, do you know, somebody green community funds that they're going to try to apply for toward their frontier projects? Are those some of the projects that are on that list? Yes, yes, that would be what that was for. That was one of the suggestions that was brought up at the bond meeting, mm -hmm. is that some mm -hmm. grant money be found to, to pay for some of those mm -hmm. if possible. Mm -hmm. uh, the planning board is considering requesting clerical help regarding postings, minutes, notification of abutting towns and special permitting, etc. I've given them our current clerical job descriptions and we'll bring it up when the personnel committee meets probably later in the winter. In other human resources news, a letter came in from the Franklin Regional Council of Governments I thought I would distribute to each of you. This is three copies of a long letter. 
uh, it's proposing a new human resources function similar to the accounting program. Uh, before Conway's personnel committee was reduced in size and having trouble meeting quorum, I had expressed interest in this initiative. At this point, with a full personnel committee and both my assistant and the assistant treasurer collector able to assist in some administration, I do not think Conway needs this program, at least for now. If it gets established and the makeup of the personnel committee changes, though, it might be worth participating in sometime in the future. Could, could we do something that's parallel? We have our own committee plus help from them. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, what their main value would be for us at this point would be in providing someone with human resources expertise to help with particular problems that we have. Mm -hmm. Because we currently have people with expertise on the personnel committee, um, the current makeup suggests that we are not in immediate need of this right. service. But we may well be in the future. Do they have an idea what it would cost? Yeah, like it. Uh, oh, I'm finally getting there, yeah. Uh, Over 10,000. Wow, uh huh, uh huh. And that's with the number of towns participating that have expressed interest at this point. Mm -hmm. So if there so were. So they're looking at 10,000 apiece, though. And the more towns that came into the program, uh, that would reduce the. Uh, because we have noticed that the ten. more the fraud grows, the more that cost of every year is going up and up and up and up. Yeah. It's, I, I can't find many examples of costs going down and down and down, except maybe in the tech sector. But even then, they, they just give you fancier equipment, so the cost mm -hmm. remains the same. We got a eventually. Uh, no, I think general for is really, really some of this in It's somehow. a good budget. They're, they're, they're good value for the money, but not if we don't need it. Right. And that's all I have. Okay. Thank you, Tom. Okay, next item. Uh, concerns of the selectmen. Do we have any concerns, selectmen? I've got one. Okay. I'll address it to Tom. Budget season upon us real fast here, and the department heads have, do not have a balanced run sheet of their accounts from our accounting department, which is very bad. Okay, you should should have, and I will make sure you have, the, last year, the total. Maybe we got spoiled oh, last year, but the total. we had monthly balance sheets. Yes, and you should get and We should have not had those. one yet this year. Okay. You should definitely be getting those. I will let Mike Well, you told me before in the past that they had changed their accounting system over and they hadn't, were not, unable to come up with them yet. No, we do have the we do have the bottom line for your budget. What we don't have is the sub account uh, budgets at this point. So yes, I'm. That's I'm, what I'm, I'm sorry. Yes, the department's interest in is the sub accounts. Yeah, we do not have sub accounts, and we will not have them for this budget season. Um, the best that I can understand it, we will um, be getting. I believe we'll be getting. The, ca the capability of having them again, and then the staff has to go back through all the. So, so every board, the every board in the town of Conway is going to have to bust it apart on their own this year. To try to figure out what the line, what the line items balances are. Well, they, sh they should know that. They don't know the sub accounts. They do they know, the know the total. They know the total account. And we can get you the detail so that you can know what that money was spent on. You can. But assigning it to sub-accounts, um, at this point, it looks like departments are going to have to do that I, on their I, own. Like my department, I can, I can come up with the answers I need, but it's just a lengthy process. Yes. Because of the simple fact that I record every item that I approve for spending, and it gets earmarked to a line item account that we can go back and have my secretary or myself go back through all the previous six months bills and add them all up on the line item now. We can't do them that way, but it was so much easier yeah. before because every once every month after you submit your bills, when, when they punched out the warrant, they immediately send you the balance sheet. It was all right there. 
Oh, I ended up by Lighthouse. And that's great. Right. The, the COG has been requesting this of the uh, <clears throat> of the um, of their vendor um, since this summer. Um, they may recently have put it on a faster track. I know. Um, I'm on the small so budget, so we've been easy, trying to get it done. It'd be easy for me, but I can't believe it. Somebody like the Board of Health, their budget must be staggering to try to figure that out. That that shouldn't be a big deal to do that. that, that I wouldn't be think deal. so, but well, we do hope it's going to happen soon. Can you okay express to them that the concerns of the departments of this town are that it be sooner than later? We have. <laughs> and budget and we have indications up? that it may be on a faster track now. I, I have a finance committee meeting at the FERCOG on uh, Thursday. Mm -hmm. uh, I will make sure that that is brought Great. up. Thank because you. Because that is, that's needed. Yeah, that's needed. Thank you. That's all I got. Okay. Bob, do <clears throat> you have any concerns? Nope. No. Okay. Mail. Okay, mail. Okay, we got a we got a letter from a from a citizen. I think I'll read the whole letter in its entirety because it's uh, it's on a current uh, relevant situation. Uh, this is a letter that's addressed November twenty second to the Conway Select Board. It says, uh, "I have become increasingly dismayed by the stream of letters to the recorder." on the safe community designation issue. Before yesterday's issue of the recorder, I was not really comfortable with the tone of the discussion from either side. I wasn't present at the town meeting. No excuses here, but like many, I don't participate directly in many town affairs and politics. I have my reasons and won't go into them now. Regardless, this is my town as much as it is for any individual who resides here. I do have opinions and I work hard to be informed. In the last year or so, I've made an effort to engage residents on all sides of the political spectrum in meaningful dialogue. I've definitely learned a lot. Though I am a Democrat, many of my friends and acquaintances are not. For the most part, we agree more than we disagree. We share much of the same frustration with government that led to the current upheaval. And for the most part, we don't have any faith that the current direction will do anything to fix it. We look for common ground in our conversations. My family has been in Conway since 1962. Up to this point, I have felt a fellowship with the residents of Conway, regardless of their voting record or political affiliation. However, I could not get on board with John O'Rourke's derogatory comments at the beginning of his article in yesterday's Recorder, which were in stark contrast to Sue Bridges' call for a dialogue leading off with comments like lax voter registration standards are led by liberal politicians and self-serving liberal politicians want to pander to illegals to get their votes is pandering in the worst way to the divisive atmosphere that is ruining this country. I read the rest of the column, but the boilerplate statistics had little meaning after the initial comments. It's no big secret as to how Conway leans politically. It's very blue. But that's not to say it couldn't or wouldn't change in the future. However, regardless of where the community stands, labeling, and in parentheses, what many may call the majority of Conway residents, close parentheses, in such a derisive and disrespectful fashion is entirely inappropriate for a community leader. Uh, reacting to the community members who criticize you is never a constructive way forward. Less, venom venom less venomous discussion on this issue is definitely needed. But first, Mr. O'Rourke needs to apologize publicly to the community for the tone of his column before its content is considered. 
So that was from a Conway resident. Um, let me just comment. I think, uh, I think he mistook my comments at the top for being um, directed at Conway. It wasn't at all directed at Conway. It was directed at larger urban areas. And I think that was misconstrued in this letter. But dialogue is good. OK. That's all the mail that I have. Um, again, we have uh, an announcement. The Conway Holiday Party for 2017 for town staff, spouses, and significant others. Committees, boards, commissions, welcome. is going to be Thursday, December 21st from 5 to 7 p.m. at the Conway Inn. Uh, please join us for holiday cheer and free pizza. Bring a favorite holiday treat to share if you wish. And uh, did, did Lisa do this announcement? Lisa, did you do this? Um, it, I revised it from a previous year. Very, I, very nice, very nice, Lisa. <laughs> did everybody see this? So that was December 21. December 21 at 5, five o'clock. Do you think make sure you could color the tree? Well, <laughs> <laughs> there's a color version. It's okay, Bob. It's okay. Your mail slots if you want to see it. In Good color. job, Lisa. <laughs> um, did the color one. Well, you didn't want to, you know, ruin all, run all the all the uh, all the green ink, ink out of the, yeah, uh, exactly. right, the right. color. The only color printer we have. And the electronic the version does have the color in it, so. So everybody come with bells on their feet on the 21st at 5 o'clock to the Conway Inn. Okay, next meeting is scheduled for Monday, December the 11th here at the town office. Any other announcements or business come before the board? If not, I will make a motion to adjourn. Do I have a second? Second. second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Very good. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, Alyssa. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Tom. This is for us. Thank you all. This is for us for next time.